so today um, I wanted to do a really fun video for you guys. I have recently placed an order, well not recently, during the exam times when I was freaking out. I kind of went on um, Beauty Bay, not Beauty Bay, um, Beauty Joint and purchased a couple of things um, and I'm really excited to show you guys. I've just received the package and I thought it'd be really fun to do another unboxing haul um, just to show you guys um, like swatches maybe and then tell you guys how I feel about the items and everything like that. So yeah, so um, I've got this really cute sweater on at the moment. It's um, got cats on it and it's shredded. It's stunning. I love it. It's a little bit itchy but I think that it kind of will get better as you keep wearing it and washing it all the time. Um, and this one's from Romwe. Um, I'll post a link down below for this sweater as well. They always have 25% off or 20% off their items so it does lower the price down quite a bit. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, this is the stuff that I've got at the moment. Um, I did start opening some of it but then I was like, hang on a minute. I think it would be fun to show you guys what I got instead on video. So, <clears throat> they, um, Beauty Joint recently got new e.l.f. stuff in. And I'm sure you've seen all the hype about the new e.l.f. blushes, the big blushes, and the, um, the new duos and whatnot. So I thought I'd purchase some and check it out. <clears throat> also, please excuse the croaky voice. It is morning and my voice is still warming up, so please excuse that. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you guys are the e.l.f. baked blushes. Um, I got it in Peachy Cheeky and Rich Rose. I believe I only got two, so I'll just open these up for you guys now. This is what they look like. I hope that's in focus and whatnot. But first of all, the packaging is quite sturdy. It, I thought it was just going to be like their cheap blushes, but it does feel quite firm. Even when you open it up, it doesn't feel too flimsy at all. Um, so this one is the Rich Rose, and wow, okay, so first of all, first thing I notice is that it does not have much pigmentation at all. Um, I'm swatching it quite roughly in there, and oh, there you go. So you really have to work it in there, but I think like for me, I like that. Like I do like that it's not overly uh, pigmented because sometimes you can easily go overboard, but I just hope that it builds up well. Um, I can definitely see it when it's swatched quite heavily. Um, I don't know how it goes on the cheeks, but the colour is really beautiful. So, not yeah, you probably can't see that, but it's quite sheeny as well. Um, so that one's in Rich Rose, and then the next one that I got was Peachy Cheeky. And that's what it looks like. And this one looks really light, actually. Oh, but that one shows up quite well. This one, to me, looks definitely more as a highlighter. As you can see, it's quite shimmery. So this one will work really nicely as a highlighter, actually. That looks really gorgeous. Um, yeah. So, um, the quality is pretty nice. It's really smooth and not chalky too much. So, those are the two baked blushes that I got. I'm a bit, like, so-so about them. I'm not in love with them completely. I haven't tried them on my cheeks yet, so they're definitely not overly pigmented, that's for sure. So, the next one that I got... So, the next one that I got was the Contour and Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo, and this one is in... Antigua. So um, if you guys don't know, ELF has recently um, extended their um, blush and bronzer duo line. This one has got a dark bronzer and then this one kind of looks like Angelica from NARS. It's like a pink with silver shimmer to it. Ah, that's gorgeous. So it's quite a Barbie pink colour and it is very pigmented. And then there's the bronzer right there and the bronzer is really smooth and more shimmery than the other one. But definitely very pigmented. So I'm liking that one. Yeah, I like this one. And then the next one is St. Lucia. And this one's a more um, muted one, I believe. Um, so I'll just open this up and show you guys. Again, similar packaging. This one is quite reminiscent of the original one that they had. Except the bronzer is probably a little bit lighter. But it's still very pigmented. So this one's really... Um, yeah, 
quite nice. And the blush is a little bit more chalky than the bronzer, but it is a gorgeous peachy shade. You won't be able to see that, but it's more of like something that you'd notice when you pop it on the cheeks. So, uh, I like these. I definitely recommend them, like first impressions wise. Um, I think these will work really nicely. Let me know if you want me to do a video of like using any of the products in like doing my first impression, my first time using them on my actual face. Okay, moving right along. Got a couple of the pencils. Um, so I got the NYX lip liner in hot pink. These are just your, your standard lip pencils. I do really like them and it's quite affordable. Um, I've got the automatic lip pencil which I really like because the packaging of this is so much nicer than the, the ones that you shop but I do think they're a little bit more expensive. I think I'm going to start buying the auto lip pencils because you don't have to sharpen them and I find that that's really annoying sometimes because I do like to pack these as a kind of lip colour in just my bag so it's really convenient when you don't have to sharpen them. Uh, I got it in purp deep purple. Um, and I also got it in Auburn, which is just a like, like deep bricky red colour. Here are the three lip liners that I got. I got two of the Jordana Fabio liners because I've heard nothing but great things about them, especially from um, Noor and a couple of other people actually. I think um, Makeup Freak, yeah, they love this and it was really quite affordable so I thought Heck, why not? Uh, I will open it. I think I will open the brown one because I don't have a brown liner. Okay, so it looks like this. It's like a felt tip. And when you just line it. Wow, so it is quite dark. This brown is a little bit ashy. It's more of like a ash brown colour rather than a deep rich brown. I think I might just open this anyways see what it's like. So that's black. It does have the consistency of a, of a like marker, but it's not as thin as the Maybelline one that I'm used to, but it is quite nice. I can notice that it's sinking into the fine lines of my hands though, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. So my trusty Stanley knife. Oh, so I got a couple more. <laughs> I'm addicted to Chinese Glaze nail polish. It's ridiculous. So I got a couple more Chinese Glaze nail polishes. I think this one's from the um, what's that movie that came out? Hunger Games collection. This one's called Harvest Moon. This one's called Fogra. 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 I don't know. It's just like a muted purple color. And then. I got Stone Cold, which is like like a glittery um, matte matte grey colour. It's really good. So I kind of went overboard with the um, Jordana Eye Brow slash Eyeshadow Powder. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I am the biggest biggest fan of matte browns like I am addicted, and I'm always on the lookout for the best matte brown colour. I love using it in the crease blending out colours, just using just matte browns as an everyday eyeshadow. I just absolutely love my matte browns and um, where there's a matte brown I'm all over. When I discovered the um, Jordana eyeshadow brow powders, I thought that they would work really nicely as just like everyday matte brown colours. So you can use them for your eyebrows or on your lid. So I bought basically all of them. I got Auburn, got Natural Tote, got Light Brown, I got Brunette. Um, brown and light ash brown so not all of them are like um, ashy as you would expect for um, eyebrow powders but I'm really looking forward to trying these out I'll just have a play with one of them so this one's called brunette and it's like a dark brown and I'm just telling you guys now the quality of these Jordana eyeshadows are amazing they are so smooth and just watching it it's quite pigmented if you can hold on let me just try to grab another one so it's it's not as pigmented but I definitely think it's buildable there is an ashy kind of undertone to to the browns um, but I do think that Auburn would be more red based which I love so yeah Auburn's really nice as well so I got those and they're stunning 
Um, and I also got three Milani eyeshadows. I have it in Deep Desire, which is in a different packaging to this, the other ones. And it's just a gorgeous purple color there. And I got two more matte brown colors. I, I'm telling you, I'm addicted. I got it in marooned, which is like almost like a sketch dupe. Okay, it's not at all, just from far away. This one has a shimmer to it. It is quite like it does have a sparkle to it, um, but it is a gorgeous color on its own. Definitely not a dupe for sketch. I apologize, that was a pr bit preemptive of me. Um, and then this one is in um, rich chocolate, which Actually, this one looks quite comparable to Espresso. Yeah, definitely, definitely very pigmented compared to the Giordana. Milani is like, I am falling in love with the Milani brand, absolutely. And then the last batch. Oh no, it's not the last one. So, I did get a ELF HD blush. I thought I got two. What's the one I got one? Road. Okay, so I got one ELF HD blush. Um, and this one is in headliner. I believe this is like one of the muted versions of all of the HD blushes. All of them are really quite pigmented and I think I just didn't want to deal with that. So I wanted to try one out first before I got more. Similar to the uh, Makeup Forever HD blush. Okay, so, wow. You definitely don't need a lot. A little bit definitely goes a long way. And even though it looks muted here, it is very pigmented. Okay, so looking forward to trying this out as well. The rest of lipstick stuff. I did go a bit crazy with like the um with the wet and wild lip colours. Let me just get this open for you guys. Okay. So I got, let's see here, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wet Wild well, matte lipstick colors. Um, I think I'll do like a separate swatch video for this or something like that, or even on my blog. But um, the ones that I did get, don't blink pink. Um, cherry picking. Uh, got a backup of bear it all. Pretty persimmon. Um, dollhouse pink. This one sandstorm. Smoking hot pink. And mochalicious. I like that it's got the um, the names of it on the bottom now, which is really convenient. So I got all of these. Um, they're really affordable. They were only like two bucks each. Um, and then I've got some of the NY matte cream things. Um, I like that they even wrapped it separately. Okay, so I got what's oh, this one? This one's Addis Abeba. I'll have to swatch it somewhere. So this one's Addis Abeba. Just there. I love the smell of these things. They're amazing. Got another backup of London, which I'm wearing on my lips right now on top of um, Think Bear It All. Um, and I got Abu Dhabi, which is quite similar to London, but I think it's like a bit darker. So if, if you're darker than me or if you have um, pretty light lips and you want to darken them or something like that, or a darker new lipstick, this one's really nice. But I think London and Abu Dhabi are basically the same type of colour. Um, and then I also got Amsterdam which is highly coveted and that's what it looks like. It's definitely a really nice blue based red um, and what I love about them is that they dry up matte so that's really nice. And uh, one last thing is the NYX matte lipstick. One other obsession I have apart from matte brown eyeshadows and foundations are red lipsticks matte red lipsticks i absolutely love them and this one is stunning this one is called bloody mary and it's just a gorgeous pink pinky based red so that's everything i got i also did get um another package from beauty joint that they sent me this one all of this i bought myself but they did send me some other things as well let me know if you want to see that it's mostly milani stuff but i absolutely love it i probably will just do it separate video on it um let me know if you want to see that though um and yeah hope you guys enjoy this video um, and i'll see you in my next one bye